All right, we are live, baby, live, galactic. Streaming across the cosmos. Inside pool and APA teaming up to be here at Stroker's Palm Harbor. I stepped through the Stargate and arrived just for you, my friend, live. Brad Shearer versus Christopher Robinson goes by Shane. We're racing to seven here, and that's that's about the bottom line of it. So glad to have you join us out here. Oh, don't do that. Cross Facebook. I am your host, Alvin, with Inside Pool TV, the billiard channel, Inside Pool Magazine, and part-time APA guy. We're going wild. I'm the information desk as well. Over here. How are you, sir? Good. Let's plug you in right here. Yeah, I don't want to touch that. It could fry. It could shut. The, move that wrong, and the whole computer could shut off. Yeah. So let's plug your phone in right there and yes you're more than welcome to charge your phone see inside pool tv we we charge your phone too and live stream pool it's great we charge your mind brad shearer is going to charge up your mind here watch that one ball oh my it didn't go they're on the ceiling they're all on the ceiling on number three you can see them there's a just one, and there's a wiring harness going across the ceiling. You'll see it. All right, so yeah, I'm live. So I'm going to talk to the, uh, talk about the match here. And uh, Brad Shearer from Raleigh. Nice shot. Nicely played ball there, my friend. Shoot this one in the side. He's got a little bit of an angle on. He's gonna be. He's gonna have to go to the rail and back out. There he goes. Create an angle. Get to the seven. No problem, sir. No, I'm not doing a live show. It's okay. You can talk to me anytime you want. No problem. We aim to please here. The U.S. Amateur Championships we need to get here next year. I'm telling you. <laughs> Good one. One to zero. Quickly. That was a little slower. That was about four minutes for that. So we shall see. Both these guys are good players, I could tell already. I mean, you would have to be to be here, but uh, they're above average. Above average speed players here. Raleigh's such a strong, I don't know where Christopher's from, but Raleigh's such a strong uh, pool, pool town. It's not surprising Brad's a good, he, uh, Brad's naturally a good player. I saw that years ago. Very talented pool player. And uh, Shane here looks to be very talented as well. Just from the, the run I just saw him do he showed some skill skilled shots see how Brad 
decides to play this safe, um, he's going to sell out on it. Gave him a back cut. Two balls, no gimme. He's got the 2-3 combo if he can somehow get to that position. Not sure what he's going to do. Going to shoot this ball in the right-hand top pocket, go across table, back through. He's going to try to play the 2-3 combo. Why not? Two should stay. No, I don't know. We'll see what happens with the Q and the two. Yep, I don't know about this. Looks good. Great shot. Got some angle to go to the bottom rail, back out. And four, hmm, I don't know. We'll see. Definitely putting high ball on it. Yep, no good. Yeah, I don't think he thought through that shot very much. Going to throw some left hand spin off the rail and just try to hit the four full in the face and stop. Kind of got a clip on it. Where it goes, nobody knows. Getting lucky. Got a good roll. Brad can play a, some sort of safety here. Got some blocker balls. Pick the four up table. Put the cue behind the seven nine. Like this. Didn't make it. He's not making the safeties. You have to see him throwing his hand up in the air. He's got an angle, so he's going to be moving. Break that all out of there. So I guess he can uh, clip the six to my right, up behind the six. Now he's going to go the other way. He's going to try to shoot this ball. He must have had a good angle on it. Oh, everything's flying all over the place. He got lucky. Skillfully lucky. Skillfully lucky. Beauty. Oops. Oopsie, oopsie. Brad shoots this ball across the table well, though, so he should be okay. He's gonna hit it low. He wants to shoot the eight up table as well. No. Nope. Drop down for the nine in the bottom right hand pocket. This is the first match in the entire tournament that they started off playing nine ball. Everybody else started eight ball, so. And I, you tend to see that with the high level players. They, they just want to play nine ball. They want to get them points. And I, and I just told Brad about that scorecard, but that's all right. Don't remember, eventually. Wing ball went, the one ball did not go, but did you see he was shooting at that? He was trying to make both of those balls. Okay, so. Yep, just roll behind the six. Didn't make it.
There he goes. Good job, Brad. All right, buddy. Not good for Christopher Robinson there. Unfortunate error. Because you definitely want to keep momentum this early in the match. Two, three obviously is a problem. He's gonna have to land in a very particular spot. To make, sure, make this two ball d disappear. just about right there. To the three, it's gonna be a little tricky. But let's see. See how he handles it. He's gonna go rail, rail. One. Two. It's got a good angle to roll up for the five. There it goes. He needs to go farther than that. Go, go, go. There it is. Simple bump it off the top rail down under the six. Needs a small angle off the six to get to the seven. It's all about having that angle. What's up, buddy? Wow, that was cool. What? That was funny, bub. Oh no. More technical difficulties, yay. Come on, Bubba. Oops.
Well, I lost my top camera here for a little bit. My center camera. It decided it wanted to stop working. So we have two side cameras we're gonna have to work with. There he made the ball on the side. Nice, you see the spin he played on that ball? That was great. We'll have to go out on the break and try to fix that camera. This is Brad. See Brad shoot pool. See Brad run out. I'll be right back. All right, we're not going to be able to get the center camera, friends. I'm sorry. We're going to have to try to play this out with side cameras. They're out there. The cameras are directly above a playing table. And I'm not going to go out there and interrupt their match. There's James Adams in the background. So we're just going to have to try to imagine the angles. He's going to be playing this uh, two ball off the rail, three ball. Uh-oh. He's not going to be playing that. Brad's going to be playing it. All right, what do we got here, folks? Four to one, we're racing to seven. We are playing nine ball. Now the rules. The rules, the rules are the rules. Race to seven, combination of eight ball and nine ball. That's gonna be, thank you very much. What's your name? Destiny, Destiny thank you. 
five games of eight ball, eight games of nine ball, double elimination. And the winner of the lag chooses break or format. And nine ball was chosen. Here you go, here's the ball. Pick it up off the table and move it anywhere you want. No problem at all. He does it, he's moving it fast, he's moving fast. He's a bounce out. Nice hit. Uh oh, look outside. Pocket. He's good. Nine ball. Uh oh. Hey, buddy. Five to one. We are, I believe this is the final game of nine ball. There's eight games. Two more. Now I look for him to make the, I think he's getting tuned in. I look for him to make the red, the uh, five orange and the one made neither. It's fine. Got a shot on the one, made some balls. Life is good. Made the two ball.
Get that nine ball in there. Okay, play to safety behind the eight. Good shot. No, nope, not good shot. Wait. Okay, it ended up good. May be able to just clip the side of this ball. Sure did. He made the ball. Get about it. He's fighting back, folks. And that might roll a little too far. Sure did. Shooting a nine. I can't tell the angle. You better shoot that nine ball. Boom. Oh, dang. Well, he didn't leave a giant pocket for the five to go in, but it can still go. Buddy. Played. Get up on that rail, he wants it. Let's look at angle one. Well, there's a cross make on the five, but Brad's not one to go with flyers. So he's trying to figure out a safety to play. Me, I shoot the cross bank, but I know how to shoot those. It's just a speed thing. The harder you hit it, the tighter the angle. The softer you hit it, the wider the angle. Shooting it up the rail, huh? Yeah. I'm... Look at this. Oh, that's a sellout. <laughs> He's clawing back, folks. He's clawing back. He is clawing back from the dead.
Bada bing. Eight ball, nine ball. I just met the lovely Aaron, one of the staff here at uh, Strokers. Palm Harbor, Florida, which you need to go to. So in order to go here and eat this amazing food and meet these uh, wonderful staff, individuals including Jose Del Rio, the owner of and founder of Strokers here. Go to USAmateurChampionships.com. US Amateur, USAmateurChampionship.com. That is where you sign up and learn about this event. I command you, do it, do it now. You need to be here. If you're not here, you're somewhere cold. I guarantee it. I'm spoiled over here. They spoil me. I'm spoiled. I eat these scramps every day. Play pool. Oh, there's my horse, Hollingsworth, Hollywood. I didn't hear who he was playing, and I can't see the chat to whoever did. That's telling me now. Defensive shot. Christopher Robinson here, shooting on this, trying to fire at this two ball. Wow, good effort. Fortunately, he did not make the ball, but uh, noble attempt. Brad's gonna take the ball in hand. He's not really on the right side of the four ball here. Yeah, he's gonna have to create, oh, that's okay. He's just gonna take a long shot on the five. Kid plays good. Fireball. Six to two, he's on the hill. The boy from Raleigh. Boy from Raleigh in the Carolinas, 6-2 here. We're live, baby, live. Strokers Palm Harbor. I'm Alvin with Inside Pool, your loyal host, galactic adventurer. Traveler Supreme. I get to see rolling vistas open up in front of, across my eyesight, I get to see amazing things in 
my adventures and meet amazing people. And I get to work for the APA once in a while. And that's what I'm doing here, and that's the bottom line. We're on the hill, Brad Shear versus Christopher Robinson, otherwise known as Shane. And he's got the probably, he's probably um, not the happiest guy right now. Bradley's gonna break from off center. Interesting break. I don't see him making a ball here. Yeah, hey ball. That break doesn't work. That break doesn't work. All right, so the only shot he can shoot is a seven ball. There is no other shot. Oh, he's gonna shoot another shot. He likes the stripes, I mean, why? I don't understand that. I don't know, I like shooting solids here. I understand. But, uh, hey, whatever you like. Okay, so the 11 ball does look like it goes. I, I thought those two were clustered too tight, but I see why they wanted stripes now. He's basically shooting. He's gonna shoot, uh, shoot. No, he's gonna run into the 13 here a little bit. Nope, drew back just right. Too far. Okay, now he's has to shoot it. Now he's gonna hit this ball. Ugly, ugly. Yep, that wasn't that wasn't nice. Uh-oh. You, know, you can tell he's rattled. He's, he knows that, uh, that Brad's on the hill and free stroking him. I know uh, Shane, can, Shane can shoot better than that. I've, I can tell just by watching him. I'm sure that was a very uncharacteristic miss for, for Mr. Robinson there. But uh, to be fair, they're all all the players are missing balls that they should not miss. I've seen it all day long. Every one of them from Robert Hall to Henry Brode to Christopher Robinson here to Brad Shear, all of them. They're all missing balls. So. block the pocket but uh, yeah I'm good thank you Destiny Destiny little Destiny okay yeah he's got uh, tons of shots here tons of them. piles surplus of riches as
great. George Fells would say. Surplus of riches. Oh, look at this block to pocket. Oh, not, not today, folks. He almost plays the 13 down there, doesn't he? Runs it into the two, bumps that two out of there. You get that two out of there. He's playing the combo all day. There's no chance he misses. Nope, 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 Bradley. He might want to shoot it up in the corner. I like pushing this. I mean, there's no way that the uh, 14 misses here. But he's going to go ahead and shoot it and shoot the longer shot instead of risking it. Like some foolish move I would make. See, that's kind of why I would like to play that ball out. Looks like he's okay. He's going to try to cut this ball. Let's have a look at the other angle here. Nope, he can't cut it. He's going to have to bank out. Why not? For the win, he's not happy. He's going to have to cut a blind cut. And a blind cut. All right, folks, thanks for watching the Billiard Channel. Brad Shear, Christopher Robinson. We're going to be back. I'm going to try to fix that center camera. And thanks to APA here at the U.S. Amateur Championships. poolplayers.com. Make sure you sign up for their spring session starting soon. As you can see, you qualify for one of their championships in Vegas where you do win the money. Have fun, meet people, play pool at poolplayers.com. And we will be right